Thank you. So you put in green beans and they come out smashed beans. No, French they come cut. out French cut. <laughs> smashed would look a little different, I think. <laughs> About the same, I think. <laughs> but they taste different when you have them sliced this way. That should be a good French cut. I don't know why they call it French cut. It's just sliced lengthwise. Because it's a French style. Is it? Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of things they call French style it makes me wonder if it really is. It works best when you put the pointier end down first. I didn't find that for it me made much difference for me. It didn't make much difference when it was a pointier end down first. Either way, sometimes it goes easier one way than the other. Yep. So and sometimes the thing moves on you totally, so you're tighten it up. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh. You're succeeding. Ouch. Yeah, I got caught in the chair at the same time. That tool of mine with the red handle, it's probably in the middle left hand corner <clears throat> of the hutch. At least I think it's there. So just make sure it's recording on.
tunes for that. Ooh, you can open that curtain. <laughs> Delicious days of canning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's not just beans that we're doing. Yeah, it, we're doing that was, mushrooms today and tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for uh, letting me take over doing the bean Frenching, and, and now I remember why I like to use my little towel. It didn't break. Was that my thin one or your thicker one? No, this is one from. We had orange juice and Tropicana bottle juice. Nice. Now you can't get Tropicana in a glass, glass jar. I prefer glass jars. I do too. And I wish people would use them again. Me too. They're also recyclable. I mean, you didn't have to throw a plastic thing. And you can reuse them other than just getting them washed and refilled for milk or juice. You could use them for other things too. Like making iced tea like we used to do. This, this world has turned into a bunch of throwaway society. Ugh, sure you had it for six months, you've got to throw it away. We didn't used to throw stuff away like that. Something these newfangled generation yeah. does, and then they tell us that we were the ones that wasted all their money and time and whatever. No way. We did recycling before those guys were born. Back in World War II, they were recycling. I know. And in World War One, before recycling became a thing, they did real recycling. Yep. Last bit of mushrooms. There, this is the last of the mushrooms that I am gonna tackle right now. Well, tend to right now. First thing I like to do is I like to separate the stem from the cap. easier to chop them up that way for me anyway how about you is it easier for you without the stem or with the stem videos somebody said and they said I like it when you do the singing would you please do more of that when you're doing your canning <laughs> so you and I get a request for more singing <laughs> these have been cleaned Oh, that breeze feels good. It's so hot. Yep. Yeah, I know, I know that.
Were you using a bench scraper to scrape this up earlier? Ingenious idea. I thought so. It's a lot easier than trying to pick them up with your fingers. It sure is. In fact, it's right here. Why, well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome very much. I can't see what you're putting in the jars. I'm putting mushrooms in the jars. Mm -hmm. Tiny bit left here. Enough for one slice of pizza. What is the process for canning the mushrooms? Um, clean them, cut them up if you're going to cut them, steam them for four minutes, put um, salt and water in the jar, and process them for 30 minutes on 10 pounds of pressure. If you don't steam them, when you go to get a jar of mushrooms, you get about half of what was there. Well, if you put a little bit of salt in it, it might help preserve it better. Yeah, I'm going to. There. there we go. <laughs> then that goes there. And then the next layer goes on. Mm -hmm. But we only got three for the next layer. They still want to put them in the middle. So if we get, can get one okay. of those big, tall canners, I would like to spend the money for it. Might mm -hmm. be around a thousand bucks. What are you doing? I have no clue. Don't know, but yeah, I'd like one of those. Huh? I'd like a bigger canner, a newer canner. You got the water in already, I take it. Yeah, this is the third or fourth load of stuff in the canner today. I got a light burner. Okay. For those interested in knowing, you know, canning on electric is stupid. They are so slow you can't get them canned within three hours. Give me a gas burner any day for canning. Even if it's a camp stove. Better than electric. Mm -hmm.